It's like a real-life crime drama. DNA used is the key to unlock a crime. Taking a DNA sample is quicker than fingerprinting and less intrusive than drawing blood. KXO Live Force Chairson Ramsing is live at the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab in Cheney this morning. Hey there. Good morning. Well, we are having a lot of fun in here. You've seen it on the crime shows when the investigator, they take either a piece of hair or maybe a swab of something. They take it back to the lab and poof, the crime is solved. Well, here at the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab in Cheney, they actually do that for a living and it is not as easy as it looks on TV. So we are going to demonstrate with Lisa here just how it would work if they found, say, a t-shirt with some kind of soil sample on it. And we're going to show how, in a dark room, this would work. And talk to me about the lighting that you'll use. Sure. This is a forensic light source. And what it is, is certain substances will glow when viewed under this light. And it's basically a screening tool. Once we identify something that may glow under this light, we can take it on to further testing. Okay, so let's have you put on your glasses. We'll have Matthew turn out the light here for us. And my photographer, Jerry Swanson, is going to put on uh, an infrared, um, almost like a screen. This is what he's going to be putting on. And it works exactly how our goggles work. So I'll go ahead and give that to him. We'll turn out the lights. And Lisa, show us what we have here in the dark. And hopefully our viewers can, at home can see this. Lisa, what do we have here? We may have a uh, sample here that's uh, fluorescing under this light. Um, this would be a starting point for additional screening, and then we would take that on to possible DNA typing. And I'm looking over here. It looks like this shirt has quite a number of samples over here. Can you show us maybe over there? Is that going to be enough for you to a be able to solve a crime? It may be. It'd be a very good place to start. Lisa, thank you so much. So Mike and Kalai, we're going to turn on the lights here again and show you just how in the light of day, it is really hard to see if there's any kind of sample on here. But when you turn out the lights and that, and that investigating begins, that's when real crimes can be solved. Back to you. Yeah, I don't know how anybody commits a crime and gets away with it anymore. It's so true. You know, in Washington State, more and more crimes are being solved because of DNA. It's not as easy as it looks so on TV, but here we're starting to demonstrate these are really good jumping off spots for the investigators and the technicians here at the crime lab. Really cool. Appreciate that.